Hi everyone, it's My Pampered Pets and I'm here with a highly requested video which is the guinea pig hutch tour. So as you can see I have a brand new guinea pig hutch which I love and I'm sure the guinea pigs love it as well. So I'm going to be showing you that today. So it's in the shed, so I'm going to be doing a shed tour later as well because as you can see the shed has changed a lot. Um, but don't worry, the rabbits have not got limited space because they can actually get up on top of the shed and they also have an extra level. So they still have plenty of room and they also have the run which they can come out in. So that is absolutely fine. But anyway, so on to this hutch. So this is from Happy Hutch, but I got it from the eBay shop and it was £115. And it's six foot long, two foot deep and two foot high. So it is absolutely huge for two guinea pigs. I originally got it because I had three guinea pigs and I am so sad that Panty cannot experience living in this hutch because I know that she would have loved it. But I know that she'll be happy wherever she is at Rainbow Bridge and you know I just hope that she's happy where she is. So I'm going to be showing you this with my two guinea pigs in there. Um, this size hutch is big enough for up to four guinea pigs I believe but I don't think I'd ever have more than three in here but I only have two anyway so and I'm not planning on getting any more. So, I think that, I'm not entirely sure about this, but I think that the living space which they're in right now is four foot long, and then I think the bedroom is two foot long. So it is a lot of room, it's much bigger than their old hutch. So I'm very happy that they finally have space. So I'm going to start with what's on the outside of the hutch. So over here we have a water bottle. This is actually brand new, so lovely and clean and fresh as it should be. And yeah. That's just there. Then next to it, I've hung up this treat here, which is a Naturals Chew It. I don't know what it's called, but they can chew that, and it's very healthy for them. It's not full of seeds or anything like that, so that's great. Excuse the bunnies, they're just chewing on their little treats. And then over here, I have one of these flower garlands. Jack's Bunny's Piggy's got me one of these before, but I have another one now because these monkeys destroyed it and I managed to find one on BioVet, so that's good. And then here we have a Nobbly Nora, and they don't seem to pay attention to it, but whatever. So this hutch has two doors, one at this side, which I can't really open because of the rabbit's hidey house, but I don't need to because I can also open this one and I can access around the corner. So I'm going to have to be careful that the bunnies don't try to jump in and pinch all the guinea pigs food, but we shall go in. Oh, by the way, if this hutch was outside, I would have like padlocks instead of these things, but these are fine because they're in shed, so it doesn't matter. So here are the guinea pigs. We have Lily, Lavaria, and Pansy there. So we'll start off with this item at the back, which I completely am in love with. It is their pink strawberry house. And it was from eBay and it is so cute. If you really want in one of these, just um, type into eBay, strawberry pet house, and you'll find them. And there's lots of different colours. And then next to that, we have their snuggle safe with their pink heart cover on, which of course I had to get pink, so that's that. Oh, yeah, and on the floor of the hutch, I have lino underneath the fleece, which my dad very kindly fitted for me. We got it from just a carpet shop that had off cuts and it was only two pound that and then on the floor they have this pink fleece it does say born in 2013 on it and my guinea pigs weren't but i don't really care because it's pink and cute and i didn't know at the time i bought it and it don't matter does it so that is there so then here we have their food bowl which is pink again and they've got their birch 6l pellets in there and also some veg at the moment um what veg is this i think it's coriander I think that's what it is, the herbs. So Petal got in a, <laughs> a little chew at that. Then behind it we have a pink and orange tunnel. You can get these in different sizes and there's a bigger size for guinea pigs. This is actually the rat size but my guinea pigs are only small so they will easily fit through there. If you've got like really fat guinea pigs then get the guinea pig size or if you've got male guinea pigs then they're always bigger than females, well usually. So you probably have to go for the bigger tunnel but for my girls they don't need a big one but then they have this amazing thing here which i am completely in love with and you probably want in there <laughs> this is my guinea pig camper van tunnel which was made by a lady called emma and she has a shop called hop nibble squeak so she makes hand, she hand makes products and if you request something she can usually make it because i requested this and 
it's amazing, I love it. So it's pink, it's got little windows, it's got wheels, it's got windscreen wipers. And Lily is loving it, are you girl? So, can we have a better look at that girly? Can we have a better look at the tunnel? Cool. Okay, we can. But it's pretty high and it's just the right size for guinea pigs. But she also makes them for rabbits as well. So, if you were wanting one of them, hop nibble squeak and she's on Facebook. So, I'll shut this door. So that's pretty much the living area. It's going to change because I want to like swap things around, like get different toys and stuff so they don't get bored of it. Right, so onto the bedroom area, which is huge. So here we go. It's pretty much just stuffed with hay and the guinea pigs love burying in it and, you know, hiding in there. Don't you? You love it. And actually underneath here is a litter tray with some newspaper and some bedding in there. And that's just to catch any wee. And they're pretty much litter trained, but occasionally they do pee in different places in the bedroom area. But luckily as I have the lino down, it's not too much of an issue because I can just sweep up any mess, wipe it up, whatever. So that's fine. I don't mind about that. So yeah, that's just stuff with here. And at night time, I usually move the snuggle safe into the bedroom area so that they can keep nice and warm. If you don't know what a snuggle safe is, you heat it up in the microwave for a set amount of time and then it's like a hot water bottle for guinea pigs but it's safer than a hot water bottle because it doesn't like pop all over them so that's that oh look we got a better little tunnel now so as you can see it's just wooden and it's really cute like my guinea pigs they're beautiful aren't you Lil? you're beautiful hi hi so that is the hutch and i love it the guinea pigs have loads of room so it's really nice um i'm so upset that pansy can't try it out and we really really miss her I know that she would have loved having all this space but she had a lot of space running around the shed when I penned off half the shed for my guinea pig so she still had a lot of space and room and fun so we miss her and we love her but i just got to keep doing what's best for the other animals that I have you can't see them now they're in the bedroom area. so I'll shut this door okay so goodbye from the guinea pigs they're going to go hide in the hay the, uh, what are you doing? So I will be doing a rabbit shed tour very soon, which you can look forward to if you want to see that. What are you doing? So just another overview. There we go. Six foot by two foot from Happy Hutch, and I absolutely love it. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, so thanks. Bye.